Yo, yo, hey everybody, uh, huge thank you to all the new subscribers and everyone watching. I have uh, more things planned up ahead, um, a huge build. Just really thank you a lot for everyone who's subscribing. Uh, please give me feedback if you don't understand something um, because ultimately I just want to help out and educate. So right here I have my first attempt and it's completely smooth but the printer doesn't do a good job of uh, since it's only one layer so a lithophane is an object that when light passes through it it creates an image and so here when i power this on you see nothing until light hits it and illuminates through the walls and here's a simple circuit that i made it's just a pcb with a bunch of leds stuck on Right here I'm poking in some holes in order to suspend the LED circuit. Uh, so I'll be running some string through those holes. In order to connect it, I just loop it into one of the PCB holes. And now if I pull both ends, you see that the tension is formed. Using a sewing needle, I just stuck the thread through the holes that I made and looped it into both of the holes. Once I had the thread looped around the holes, then I just tied the end off. And this was just a test to see if I could suspend the LEDs just so all faces on the lithophane could light up. Next up, I had to route the wires through the whole body. So I used a heating iron to melt the plastic and formed two holes for the wires to poke through. You can see that the wires are able to go through and top fits more flush. So right here, I'm wiring up the circuit for the bottom file on Thingiverse. Uh, all files in the description below. And what this file has is a place to put a coin cell battery. And the coin cell battery I'm using here is a 2025 uh, 3 volt. There's a bunch of ways you can wire it using the foil tape. Uh, the best I've found is just putting two LEDs across from each other and that seems to be enough light. A simple way to have it turn on and off is by having two pads connect with a single pad on the main body of the flight. Only if it's lined up correctly will it actually turn on the circuit. So for the coin cell I put the positive on the bottom and the negative on the top. In order to attach the tops I used some two-part epoxy and any epoxy will work. 0.5 milliliters is more than enough if you're just doing one. In order to place it, I just put it along the tops. And after that, I set the top on with a weight in order for it to bind. So when 3D printing, some models will come out clean and you won't really have to do any cleanup. This one came out completely clean. I didn't touch it after. And the tops always come out clean, no matter what. You do want to go over them and clean them up, spend your time sanding. Because if you don't, this is how they turn out, just going over them a little bit. The tops usually always come out clean though, so you won't have to do any cleanup on them. It's also easier to paint the tops because the uh, paint doesn't bleed through the layers as they do on the sides. The plastic color when printing will affect the light. Since this one is gray, there's kind of a small grayish tint to it. But if it were white, it'd be able to emit the light better. So that's pretty much it. Thanks to all the subs and everyone for watching. The next video, I'll be making a Minecraft Observer. And it will be able to detect when a block is put in front of it. If you have any questions, please let me know. And again, thank you for watching.